latest is he has serious injuries that he's being treated for. Now, this has been described as the family's worst nightmare, especially considering that the father of the son is a firefighter himself with the Jackson Fire Department. He says usually these are the calls he's responding to. Never did he think it would be his own. I never in life would expect it. This would have happened to my own. Never in life. Tonight, Damon Moore Jr. is clinging to his hospital bed as he undergoes treatment for third degree burns at the New Orleans Children's Hospital. The 10 year old was airlifted to Louisiana after catching fire in his grandmother's Jackson home Friday. They've basically been having him sedated the whole time he's been here because he's severely burned. His father, Damon Moore, a lieutenant for the Jackson Fire Department, says his son had a toothache and went into the bathroom for medicine when the family heard an unsettling noise. After five minutes of being in the bathroom, the grandmother heard a loud boom. So when she runs to the bathroom, he's completely engulfed in flames. As Moore was in flames, the family called AMR. They were panicking as they rushed for cold towels and patted the 10-year-old down with flour. Moore was not in Jackson at the time of the emergency, but he says it was one of the most gut-wrenching phone calls he could have received. It's really devastating. It really is. Moore describes his son as respectful, outgoing. He's even on the honor roll, which is why he's shocked by this accident. I don't know what in the world he was doing that night at his grandmama's house because that's not him. And, and I guess that, that was one particular time he was just being a kid. Moore says it's a painful waiting game right now that's just full of unknowns. They said they are waiting for their son to wake up after surgery to find out what exactly unfolded in that bathroom. Tonight, we're live outside of Fire Station 23. Michaela Franklin, 16 WAPT News.